Main Street Stockbridge, Norman Rockwell's Stockbridge, anchored by the historic Red Lion Inn. Around the corner from the inn, Rockwell's old home, and across the street from there, Seven Salon Spa, with a curious Rockwell connection. It was just either destiny or, or serendipity or whatever, or fate. Maurice, or Pops Peterson, is the salon's owner, along with his husband, Mark Johnson. That's Peterson's day job. He's also an artist who created an image he thought unintentionally resembled a Rockwell. It was the feeling, the look, it looked kind of like a painting. I said, wow, how did that happen? I wonder if I could do it on purpose. And so he did, beginning with Sailor on Leave. After I had done the first picture, boom, just popped in my head. You know, wouldn't it be cool if I would walk around town and redo these pictures as if Rockwell were alive now instead of 50 and 75 years ago? That Thanksgiving, Peterson reimagined Rockwell's Freedom from Want with he and his husband hosting. It begins as a photo. The photo that I start out with is just a bare beginning. I have to change the colors, I have to paint on them, I have to erase things and add things, and by the time I'm done and you print it out on a canvas, you would never know that it wasn't a painting. Next came an exhibition at Cassandra Sohn's Gallery in Lenox. Anybody who has any kind of interest in uh, thought-provoking artwork has an incredible response to Pop's works. Even the Norman Rockwell Museum. He's given several talks at the museum and he's been involved in uh, an exhibition about the Four Freedoms that's currently touring the U.S. Just as Rockwell used neighbors as models, Peterson does as well. In his rendition of The Runaway, the man behind the counter is none other than Rockwell's original runaway. Yes, the original kid is now a delightful man about my own age. His name is Ed Locke. But reimagined Rockwells are not Peterson's only work. I want to have my own voice. So for instance, I did a tribute to the Women's March. And then my, my latest one was a commemoration of the Las Vegas shooting. Despite his newfound success as an artist, Pops Peterson isn't giving up his day job. I'll tell you something, I would never give it up. What I learned is that the community and seeing people all the time, I don't even have to call people up, they come every six weeks. It's been the most wonderful, welcoming community of my dreams, really. And Pop says he wants to use his art to affect change and speaks often on the topic of arts and civil rights. And finally tonight, if you like the look of tonight's show, thank Chronicle photographer hmm. Carl Vieira. Carl shot tonight's show and so many others, often with his good buddy, Ted Reinstein. Enjoy retirement, Carl, and thank you for everything. We will miss you. Our audience will miss your pictures as well. Good man. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Anthony Everett. I'm Shana Seymour. Have a good one, everyone.